I was doing it the correct way. I thought my way was the only way. Through thinking math, I've been able to reflect, learn, grow, and most of all, apply it and see the growth within my children. Well, I've always believed that the foundation of math has always started with hands-on manipulatives. If the students could see and manipulate their math tools, their understanding of, a, of the, this new skill would have a strong foundation so they can build upon it for their future use. How do you do three, four, five, six, nine? That's the goal of our number sense, is they become so flexible with numbers that they don't have these barriers. You and I have the barriers because our little kids, we wanted them to be a little bit more open with their flexibility. So whether I go five plus ten, 10 plus 5, 15, doesn't matter. Um, but see, I don't do it. She does it across the top. Why did you get a 10 as well? Well, that's what I'm saying. I teach my kids to do the ones, do the 10s. It's in the top, first of all. If I were to make this into maybe an addition sentence, what would I do? First 10 frame. Go ahead and do that. Let's change 8 plus 5 into making 10. How many do I need up top, Drew? Two. Two? Three. 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 You do that. Okay, we need three. So everybody go ahead and make that. Okay. Good job. Ooh, Ooh. Kelly has got it. Okay. Okay, tell us how you know. I I pretend to move this one to okay. that one. And then what am I left with? Six. Okay. Layla, do you agree that that seems like the right match? I agree. Yay. Come sit down. Good job. Great adding strategies. Sure Make a is. ten. Add a no, ten. Really Thanks. Important. Matt, do you think you could tell me whether this works or not? It does. How do you know? Because two goes to 13 equals 26 and then plus 4. Does anyone have another one? Noah. Two groups of five plus twenty. It's another one of my favorite ones. Who knows why it's one of my favorite ones? Joe. Plus five two times equals twenty. I mean ten. Ten. <laughs> yes. Make <it> ten. <laughs> okay. Cool. to show your math, your thinking, on the paper. There's one little catch. I'm going to tell you if you listen. You cannot use addition with regrouping. You have to find another way. Well, I've learned different techniques of doing the math, teaching the math problems. I've, my kids have become empowered and feel successful because they have been able to come up and work out problems and show me their thought process and together we've all been able to grow and build upon each other's successes. Thinking Math has proven that manipulatives are an important tool, but giving, giving the student an opportunity to explore new ways to solve the problem and to discuss their thought process is the key to Thinking Math making time to look at problems in a different way, and giving time to discuss are the major changes in my teaching. And the other important part about that is having the time in our schedule to do that. Because we just, with everything, how oh, we have to hurry up, hurry up, and go on with all those skills. It's just, it's, it's so important to give those students that opportunity to think, and to think outside the box. I think of one adjective to describe it, I felt instructed. And by instructed, I mean um, in my 
in my teaching, in my classes, I was instructed how to do a process, how to do a skill. Then I took that instruction and taught my students, thinking that that was the only way because that was the way I was taught. That was the way that I learned it, whether it was the right way or the wrong way, or the easiest way. And I instructed it to my student, and it was more skill and drill than a than an actual process. Um, many times I wanted them to um, just know how to do it versus if they understood it or not. But what I want you to take away from this is, Bobby, that you didn't give up. <coughs> you looked at a problem and you thought, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you hung in there, you looked for, what do I know? What can I do easy? And when you started answering this mathematician questions, Turned out, no problem, all right? So the lesson on that problem is don't give up. You plug away at it and see if you can find an easy way to solve the problem. The first problem that you have, or when you were doing our mental math problems, the last math, mental math problem, we learned the lesson about not giving up. That when you first look at math problems sometimes, it looks like scary. It looks long and complicated. But once you get into it, the well, problem was pretty easy. So I encourage you to use the same attitude with this. This is a different kind of problem. See if you can figure out how to draw this problem. My students seem more alive, engaged, excited, and ready. They seem more confident and um, they enjoy coming up to the board and doing the, the steps of the math problem and they feel empowered and in charge of their own learning and I believe with that builds their confidence and they love it. My students have always enjoyed math since I've always tried to make it fun whether it's with the hands-on manipulatives or having manipulatives with food being the Italian it's so much fun to bring that in but now it's still fun but they are showing an ownership and a deeper understanding of these math problems and that's what we're trying to build thinkers for the future. Number one, you said it right there, it is our primary teachers here at school. So we have a collaboration. Second grade teachers team together, they're collaborating. Everything, the, the same concept, the same principles are in that second grade classroom. The same thing with the first grade. It's, it's the same concept. Teachers are able to collaborate with each other. Not only that, we were fortunate to go to Pine Trails and see firsthand what thinking math looks like rather than a video or rather than a different school system. It's our teachers here in Volusia and one of our schools. The other thing, and not that I'm a, a research person, um, we get background knowledge as far as research. This is how it looks like. This is how it works. And, and background to it. We have two um, highly qualified instructors, if not more, that have done this for a number of years, that have put this in practice and taught us actually hands-on. This, this is how it looks. This is how um, the manipulatives are. Um, it, an excellent presentation, Thinking Map, has been, and a very worthwhile class, I believe. This professional development has given us the opportunity to learn different strategies of solving math problems. Also to see it in real action when we went to that other classroom was priceless. You can stand up there and those teachers can tell us how it really works and how kids can do it, but when you see students interacting with each other, solving it, and not being afraid to share a right or a wrong answer, it definitely was priceless.